It's been about six weeks already since I started year 13 and I've already made a video complaining about this year but now I've got a lot more things to complain about and just a lot more things I want to update you guys about. I can't lie, this year has been a very, very interesting year so far. <laughs> With me today, I've got some ice cream purely because I need to treat myself after this grueling, grueling process of my UCAS applications, my admissions tests and everything like that. So let's just start off with where I am right now. This week, I sat my BMAT exam and it was OK. I was asked by a lot of people to make a, a BMAT video like I did with my UCAT one. But the thing is, because I don't know what I got for my BMAT and I'm not going to know for about a month, I thought. It might just be a better idea if I just wait until I get my results and then I talk about it. From like first impressions, the exam was very difficult, which I was expecting, but the first section of the BMAT exam was much more difficult than I thought it would be. By the way, if you don't know what the BMAT is, it's an admissions test for universities such as the ones I'm going to show here on the screen. And it's for medicine, dentistry, I'm pretty sure, correct me if I'm wrong. And this is the last year that is going to be carried out. So I was the last year to do it. Section one was very difficult. Section two was okay. It wasn't the worst thing. But then section three, the essay was actually really nice. I've got this BMAT book right here as well, which I really want to burn now because I'm done with this exam. And I don't know what to do with this book anymore because no one's going to need it. BMAT wise, that's done. That caused me a lot of the burden this year so far. Having an exam to revise for constantly means that I cannot focus on my A-levels as much and I cannot pay attention in class as much because nothing is making sense and I can't go home and go over that stuff because I need to focus on this exam. So I've been pretty much just sticking to BMAT revision for most of it and making sure that I felt as confident as I could with this exam. So then once I got this exam out of the way, I could go back to A-level revision. And currently I am so, so far behind with A-levels. It's actually insane. I don't know what's going on in my class anymore. I've already talked about how A-level content has ramped up this year as well. It's so much more confusing and so much easier to forget that it's just like I can't even like remember what topic we're at for most of my subjects now so I'm just really really lost. I don't know what's going on and every lesson I just feel like I'm just trying to get through and make sure that I can just move through the lesson and come back home so I can revise more for this exam. That was pretty much it for the last couple of weeks. I was just trying to focus as much time towards this exam as possible. But even then, I felt like I wasn't putting enough time because I obviously had homework and deadlines and required practicals and whatever to still do. And so I'd be spending a lot of time on that and everything towards my UCAS application things as well, which I'm going to get into as well. It's a lot, right? The I think if you aren't in year 13 and you're wondering if year 13 is difficult, I'm going to say yes, it is. But the reason it's difficult is because you've just got a lot to juggle. Like, it's not hard, right? It's just a lot. So A-levels themselves aren't that bad if you just have them by themselves. BMAT itself isn't the worst thing in the world. UCAS by itself is actually not that bad. I thought it would be much worse, but because I got everything done in the holidays pretty much, I was literally doing nothing UCAS related really because I got that all out of the way before school even started. It's just all that stuff together is so much. And just simply every day, it's really draining, really difficult to come home and then sit down and do revision for this exam and then continue on your personal statement or whatever it is that you need to do because every day feels so tiring much more than it did last year i don't know why i just every day when i come home now i'm just really really tired i don't want to get anything done but i have been persevering and trying to push through these weeks and at least this exam's out of the way so it's a huge burden lifted off my shoulders now that i've got my half time holidays i'm going to really try and focus on bringing everything back together and just really pushing my life back together as well because everything is so all over the place right now and i've kind of just like neglected so many things because of this exam and this application process and just everything around that it's a lot of stuff all at once in that general sense it's been a lot but it's definitely been manageable but at times it would get very difficult but luckily admissions test over so I can focus on like the next couple of steps as well. I know a lot of you guys want me to talk about UCAS as well. So I've submitted my UCAS I've done like the university things and everything I've done my five options I have sent that off and that's gone I've already gotten an offer as well. I'm going to put all my offers and everything into one video, one offer video, and then you guys can see my reactions there. It's because I, I want to build it up. Overall, UCAS related things hasn't been that bad. It's actually been pretty chill on the UCAS side and like the university side. But thing is, now I think it's going to start getting a bit more difficult because now is when I start to worry about my interviews and when I start to worry about universities deciding whether or not to accept you. This is the time that's going to get very stressful for me in this sense. So I am trying to not focus too much and just like 
I'm not that stressed. Like if I don't get an offer from somewhere that I really want, it's not the end of the world. I like it is what it is. That that was what like no matter how hard I tried, that that's what's been given to me. So as long as I put my effort into it, I don't think I should worry too much about that. So in terms of UCAS and stuff, that has all been submitted. That's out of the way. But I am going to start preparing for interviews and things now as well. I haven't yet, but I will try and start doing that in these holidays as well. So in terms of update wise, that's pretty much it, I guess. That's where I'm at right now. And I want to keep you guys updated as the year goes on as well, because there's definitely a lot of stuff going on this year compared to last year. One thing that's happened to me this year, at least, is that everything just doesn't matter as much as it did before. I think I've become a bit more desensitized to everything now. Before, if I had a test or something, I'd be really stressed about it and be like, I need to revise for it and whatever. This time around, I'd be getting tests left, right and center as usual, but they just didn't matter to me at all. Like I'd get my revision in, but I wouldn't focus too much on it and I wouldn't dwell too much on it because at the end of the day, they didn't matter and they didn't count towards anything. Whereas the ones in year 12 did actually count towards my predicted grade but even that it was so little that it didn't even affect anything it was mainly my end of years back last year that actually contributed towards my predicted grades but even then I think the main issue with this year is the fact that like it's really difficult to when you get home to actually sit down and get the stuff that you need to do done I have such a long to-do list of topics I need to go over subjects I need to go over and just lessons that I need to like review and make flashcards on that it's really really long but at the same time I I don't mind it I don't mind A levels at all I actually really enjoyed them. The topics we're doing this year have been less interesting than last year. Math specifically, maths A level, if you haven't gone to year 13 yet, maths A level isn't hard in year 13. Well, it is, but like compared to like a further math student, they're not going to find it hard at all, obviously. But it's still so much more than it was in year 12. Year 12, maths was nothing. Nothing happened in maths. There was a few topics that were a bit weird, but mostly maths was really, really easy. Year 13, it just gets so boring. <laughs> I don't know why. Something about maths this year, I just hate every part of it and it's just really long and boring and just I just can't be asked with the subject. Biology is okay, biology I don't mind, biology has definitely upped everything, it's so much more confusing now but I still really enjoy a lot of the stuff. Chemistry I don't know what's going on, chemistry from the beginning has been a mess and I don't mind that it's just it's just a messy subject maybe it's the way our department teaches it at our school but it's just all over the place and nothing really makes sense overall A level is so much more interesting purely because I think I've come out of BMAT and UCAT them two exams god help me UCAT specifically really really was so annoying to revise for that I was like by the time I come back to year 13, I'm going to be so thankful for doing A-levels again, and I am. UCAT and BMAT, BMAT's not as bad, but UCAT just, it's just not revisable. And A-levels are so much easier to revise because all you do is you sit there, you make your flashcards, you do your practice questions. As long as you put the work in, you're going to get a good result most of the time. Like you can guarantee yourself a decent result. Whereas UCAT, you can't do the same. Just overall, all of those admissions tests are so much harder to guarantee yourself a good score. And they have so much weight to them as well because they really determine a lot of the admissions process. So they can be very, very stressful. This single exam was the source of most of my stress this year. Apart from this, this year has been a really smooth journey, even though it has been very difficult some days overall it's not been that hard i think that it's hard yes it's doable it's manageable still if you guys enjoy this type of video make sure you leave a like down below and subscribe if you haven't already and apart from that i'll see you guys next week hopefully and have a great rest of your day bye